Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to build a torture chamber. Okay, so we have a nice setup here. We have a bridge that leads to a house. And the goal is for a player or entity to walk across this bridge and activate something that would cause this to open up and then to fall into the torture chamber. So I've added that in, so now this trap opens underneath us. And also there's been a small update. I've made this three blocks wide instead of two like it was in the previous clip. Now I'll begin building the torture chamber. So I've cleared out some space for us. This is where they would land. And one of the first few things I want to be able to do in the torture chamber is drop out the floor from underneath them. I'm thinking I want to make the floor out of stone brick type things. The floor would be underneath them and by the flick of the lever we'd be able to pull out from under them. A few other things I've thought of that I want to include in the torch chamber is lava coming out of somewhere. I want to be able to shoot arrows at them by pushing a button. I want to be able to toss instant damage potions at them. And I also want to have pistons in the walls that um, push blocks toward them, which crush them. So I've added in the floor here. Uh... And added the redstone for that, so when we flick this lever, it retracts. I've also added a green line here for the walls, which crushes people, but I think I need to move where this activates. Because I believe I want dispensers in this area um, to shoot the potions and arrows and such. But I also want pistons on the sides, which cover these, so that when people are in the torture chamber, they can't just take those items out of the dispensers. So I think I'm going to have to move this around to the front. And um, then also, I, I really need to get rid of this gravel, because while this is a torture chamber, I don't want to torture myself anymore by looking at it. Okay, I've had a really stupid idea. Uh, in this dispenser, I'm going to have a bunch of TNT, and this dispenser water. And so for one of the torture mechanisms, I want this dispenser to dispense the water, and this to dispense TNT, so that it will blow up and injure whatever is in here. But the water will hopefully keep it from blowing up the rest of the torture chamber. I imagine this will go wrong several times and blow up the entire thing before I get it working. And, oh no. Uh, I think it's safe to say that didn't go exactly to plan. Okay, I've made a slight modification and hopefully now when I add this redstone torch in, um, it won't blow everything up. Oh, phew, okay. Now for the arrows. The arrows are going to go in the middle dispenser. I think it'll be easy, so um, it, it probably won't be. That's just how things go, apparently. I have to activate this piston without activating any of the other pistons or the shredstone line. You know, it just got slightly trickier. That could work, and then when we power this block... Oh, that works perfectly. Cool. Now we'll just do this to the other side. So that part is done. Okay, now the lava is in. So when I turn off this lever, this piston attracts and the lava pops out. And if we flick it again, the lava will get pulled back into the dispenser and the piston will cover it. Now all that's left is the potions of instant damaging. Okay, I was wrong. It is actually called the splash potion of harming. My apologies. Okay, now I have the damage potion done, so that when I flick this lever, the piston will pop up and launch the potion of farming. I had to adjust the yellow line a little bit to make everything fit, but that is all done. Okay, I'm going to have to make some changes because when I had a piece of redstone dust on this block, it was powering this dispenser, which launched the splash potion, but it also powered this dispenser, which pushed out the lava. So I'm going to have to adjust that a little bit so it doesn't do that. Okay, so that was actually a lot easier than I thought. I just had to click the piece of dust, so it's only powering this dispenser. Um, but I think I do want to move it to right here. Is that going to work? Okay, I've got everything in place. I was just being stupid, but 
it is all working as far as I can tell. I think the torture chamber is done. Now all we have to do is uh, hide it and then make a room for it and add a bunch of buttons and levers in that room. So I built up the room a little bit. It's not great. I'll have to work on the aesthetics of it, but I'm not that great at building. So hopefully that goes well. But I've added in all the buttons for the different things we can do, and I've added the line for crushing them. So when we flick this lever, they will get crushed. Now we just have to add in all the other things, which is honestly going to be one of the hardest things, trying to find a way to route all the wiring without crossing them or getting it to power other things. Okay, we now have all the lines in place, so if we push the arrows, if we get arrows, those will close back up, we can crush them, we can drop them, give a potion of harming, place TNT, and we can place lava. I want to make this hole go all the way down to bedrock and add something that's really torture. I want to put cobwebs down there so that when they fall down, they're falling for a long time. Okay, we've added the tunnel, so now you fall down and you land in these cobwebs. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're moving so slowly at this point. The person who gets caught in this is going to have a very rough day. So we finished the room. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not a builder, so it may not look the best, but I did try. Now we get to use it. Okay, now I'm going to go try to get a zombie to try and chase me. And lure him into the torture chamber. Come on. Aha. Cool, now I just gotta go down my very inconspicuous hole. Oh, I'm really excited to use the TNT. <laughs> oh man, I'm having much more fun with this than I should be. Let's go get another one. Let's get a creeper this time. We got him. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Let's crush him a little bit. Oh, that's not right. Let's fix that real quick. There we go. Now let's try crushing him. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, so I've got my friend Pretty Little Hopper to volunteer to be my next victim. She hasn't seen the torture chamber at all. Um. And I've given her armor so we can torture her armor, torture her longer. But let me tell her to follow me, and we'll see how she reacts. All right, she didn't fall into the hole. I'm gonna try to lure her around again. I don't know what she's seen or not. What on earth are we doing? Ah! Oh my gosh. I guess I'm inside now. Oops, I may have messed up. <laughs> um, okay, so I fixed the torture chamber. Some changes have been made. Before we had some pistons up top here that pulled up the blocks for both the lava and the potion of farming. 
but I've moved those to the side because as you saw in the previous clip, my friend tried to break that piston. Hopefully I won't be as stupid this time and to accidentally turn off the TNT before it explodes. I had the water there to make it so it didn't explode, but I turned it off prematurely, which got rid of the water and the TNT blew up. So that is on me. So another issue you saw is my friend running straight past this without blowing the hole. To counteract that, I put solo sand down to slow down the player so this trap will have time to open while they're still on it. Okay, so I've gotten another victim to come follow me. This is another friend of mine. I'm just gonna do arrows. And more arrows. And more arrows. And more arrows. More arrows. Um, pressure for a little bit. And I'm gonna drop them again. I fixed the cobwebs, so he is slowly, slowly falling. And honestly, this is the real torture. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did, probably a little bit too much. But again, happy Halloween. I hope you guys have an amazing day.